Hi there, viewers and gamers alike out there, and welcome back for more of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening in Remastered High Definition. Created back in 1993 all the way to 2019. So, let's begin to the Bottle Grotto. As you can see from what happened on the comic strip thumbnail that we need Bawa to enter the bottle grotto of the next to find the level the wind of uh, instrument of the siren. You see on the comic strip thumbnail is where myself and my own avatar, not without the blue hair this time, with the scouter that Snake provided for me, along with Snake himself, including that of my brand new wonderful dream and relative new girlfriend in the ultimate arkham universe she was called miki she looks like hatsune miku yes that's right but um i'll, I'll get back to that later on you'll see you'll find out why on the comic strip thumbnail of why is she called miki as I told you that, um, but, of course, of course, uh, she was under living in front of the name. I'm trying to, as, as I was trying to remember of who I was and where I am, Of where did I, uh, of, of that lost, of uh, between that 8 to a 10 year gap, if I remember. Nice try. Nice try. Nope. S a small key. A piece of the memory that will keep unlocking and more and more and more. Look at this, shy guys. Oh no. You gotta jump. That's three prison, that's three dungeon keys. Uh, can't go that way. Mm. Maybe I can... What do you know? A compass! But not what I'm looking for. Back off! Three hundred six. Maybe it's time for me to use those one of the prison keys. The dungeon keys. Ta-da! And Oh! A stone beak. Usually nothing here. Oh! 
Don't try anything stupid or else I'm gonna regret it! Wrong! Got you! The part of the memory is why did I had to... Ooh. Treasure chest. Another prison key. Or dungeon key. I Nip No Know how to drive me batty. Push this. A staircase. Oh, great. Spiky floor. I still wonder why did the training between me and Snake have something to do with my new blue-haired girl? Um, which, um, she said she said she was my girlfriend for life. Gonna have to do better than that. Ah! Who's laughing now, Cyclops? At least me and Draken and Eugeo are working together. Snake gave us different names, as I, as I try to recall. But what were the names that he gave us? I know I remember why I was called Peter. I was called Peter. And I had a wonderful girlfriend named Miki who's been with me for the whole time. Joining up with Snake's training course. Training course. But what was the name that he gave me that was so, that was very that was something that was worthwhile that is like to keep it as my real name Finally a map Let's see. All right. Whoa! You no, know, another twenty rupees. Chewy. One prison key left. Oh! The big booze! Piece of power! And a power bracelet! At last I can pick up, we can pick up pots and stones. 
with Draken and Eugeo. Another dungeon key! So this is Bottled Grotto, which is, this is episode 4 right here in Leo's Let's Plays Alliance, and this is the Ultimate Arkham Universe. I can try to recall this. No. Something that's worth unlocking for. Ouch! Hey, that! The stairs. Sure, that weight is right here. We don't have it. All right, back upstairs. Perhaps there is a clue with that stone statue to peek. No! Still wrong! <laughs> what do you know, Piranha Plants, from the Super Mario Brothers? <laughs> too bad, too bad, I'm not the bad of you. Oh, woohoo! Let's -a go! First defeat the imprisoned Pole's voice, last the skeletal... 
Stalfos. Ah, that's why. All right. Okay. Guardian's acorn is mine. Got it. The nightmare key. That's just what we need. Glad that's what we need. It was a treasure chest. Oh no, 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 I am not being smart again. Stand here and it'll go back into teleport near the beginning or at the beginning. 50 rupees! If we defeat the boss and get the second instrument, perhaps I might remember more of my name. The name. Of course, the comic strip thumbnail reveals the, my real name that Snake gives to me back in the place where you call in the train in the training grounds in the first place. Somewhere in the middle of the Indian Ocean. Um, doing Moyes method acting is not a hundred percent, but at least I'm doing a fantastic job. A piece of power. Jar. This will take us down. Climbing all the way up. And here's the boss. A genie clown. It's a clown genie. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm your big guy now, a genie clown. Juggles fireballs. Uh -uh. One. Can't hurt you as long as in your bottle, huh? Don't you sure about that? That's two. You're gonna have to do better than that! Go through, crowd! Ah! 
Bring it on, clown! Do it now, clown! The fireball may be big, but I can outrun it! You jail Draken and I can outrun it! Your juggling days are over! Forever! No more clowning around for you! Six heart contain Six hearts! Another wind instrument. It will unlock another more of the piece of the puzzle holes of my, of my memories. Since Draken and I do share the same thing, but it's mine. You got the conch horn! That's two instruments down, six to go. something I want to talk about. Concerns the running of Mother Base. Come meet with me. I was with Snake. Along with my friend Miki. We were both recruited at a very young age. Boss, come meet with me. We went with Snake and begin our training right here at Mother okay. Base. This base belongs to you now. Make Diamond Dogs the force it deserves to be. Like any organization, we need good people, and we need to make good use of their talents. Miller asked me to lay that out for you. We got ourselves in training. Start bringing people in. Use this. Bringing up it's a Fulton that. recovery device. When you're in the field, use it to extract any soldiers or prisoners you want back here. And we'll see if we can't persuade them to join the ranks of Diamond Dogs. Go on. Test it out on the staff here. Anyone you want. First, put him to sleep. You have a tranquilizer gun, don't you? Don't pull any punches. Our training begins here. We start by using how we use and how we how to tranquilize our foes and our enemies. Miki and I did something First, so put him well. To sleep. You have a tranquilizer gun, don't you? We started firing. Out like a light. Now approach him and extract him. We begin the extraction right here by using the Fulton recovery device. Me and Miki did a fantastic job along with Snake. Good. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. You can only bolt and recover someone if they're not resisting. No dead bodies either. They don't make great recruits. The staff member you just extracted will be assigned to the team best suited to his abilities. See for yourself. Open your eye droid. All right. Select staff management from the Mother Base menu. Got it. We've selected staff management. So that staff member was placed on the R&D team. The R&D team is in charge of developing all kinds of weapons and items that will support you on missions. Take a look at the development list. Select weapons items under the development heading. Yes, sir. All right. We will select weapons and items and being told by our guide, well, by our, gui um, our guide, Ocelot, right here. Miki, my s Miki, Snake, and I did just that. Of course, I told oh, Snake go ahead and select the red mark. that we're both brother and sister, but he didn't actually buy it. He knows that I absolutely love her. Ever Please since we... That's the R&D team's development list. See the item called Cardboard Box? Didn't seem much use to me, but Miller was adamant that you'd want it on the list. The last word in infiltration technology, or so he said. 
In any case, we don't have the manpower to develop it just yet. We need more staff on the team. Go extract a few more people. All right. Boss, put the iDroid away for a moment. You can also Fulton extract individuals you've knocked out. Why don't you try knocking someone out with CQC next? Show them how it's done, boss. Yes. All right. If we do something like this, we can do what Try we throwing can. them. It's the best way to knock someone out instantly. Excellent, boss. Now extract it. Good. We're Extraction doing arrived at Mother One thing I should mention. Fulton extraction won't always be successful. If the person is injured, the shock of it could kill them. And if the weather is unfavorable, well, they could end up going missing. You can determine the chance of success by approaching the person you want to extract. If you want to be sure you can get them out, best carry them to the chopper instead. All right. Extract the next staff member. All right. So... We have to be aware to how to extract members. As Diamond Dogs, we were really so focused. I know it was not an easy on the job, but Snake knows that I'm not just an ordinary human. He knows that he knows that I'm kind of like that I'm not from this planet. He knows that I'm part Lumar star being and part Saiyan. Let's do this. Oh. However, I did not know. Nearby, perform CQC on them in quick succession. I this did... allows you to take them all out before any of them could strike back. I did not know that I was actually part Saiyan, though. Not yet. I'm ready, boss. <laughs> Miki and I were doing our training so well like that Snake was really proud that we're doing so well. My strength was like super, almost was superhuman that I don't want to try to kill off staff members, so I try to take what I usually do. Miki and I were doing so well. It's like we were in sync all of a sudden. I mean, she was not afraid to take, uh, to, to throw in punches herself as a... I'm ready, boss. Because she was like... Let's do this, boss. I know she's actually in love with me, but I know she's doing her I'm ready, best. Boss. Even I, myself. I'm ready, boss. Let's do this, boss. <laughs> All right. That's the boss I know. You're pretty good. Now extract it. Upsy Daisy. Our D team, its level has gone up. It should be able to develop the cardboard box now. Open your eye droid. All right. Select weapons items under the development heading. All right, just Ocelot is giving us the following instructions in our iDroid. Please specify Now select project. cardboard box and start development. Just be aware that development requires funds, GMP. Watch we don't end up in the red. Yes, sir. By the way, this is a part of the memory that we were in training to become as Diamond Dogs. So this was way before I created the Alliance for some reason. Way before then. Development has finished. Please select a You can have the support point. unit supply you with weapons and items you've developed. Think of it as your own personal delivery service. Supplies requested. Okay. Supply drop complete. This we could take showers for temporary services. Temporary shower. Ah, physically and mentally refreshed. Not sure what it's good for, but Miller said you know what to do. 
Try it out. One last thing. The staff members you extracted were all placed on the R&D team, but that was Miller's decision. If you think they belong somewhere else, you're free to move them around. Well, that about does it. You won't make any GMP or find recruits hanging around here. Board the chopper when you're ready for a mission. Open your eye droid and select a landing zone to tell it where to pick you up. Or if you're still in the mood for knocking guys on their asses, you can stay around here a while. Give the men some practice. Just come pay me a visit. Yes, sir. Also, I would like to try to do this. <laughs> now, boss, let's practice your CQC. Begin by grabbing it. Okay. I mean, so Ocelot told us that we're not done. So we're t so we're told we have to how to grab and hold our opponent or our enemies or our foes. So we will be doing just that. So I'm ready, boss. Miki, my Miki and I told us that that told us that we need to do what we're told. Snake knows that we're not afraid to do what we have to, even though we come all the way. But he knows that I. And he knows that Snake know that we will be taking care well care of here as diamond dogs. So let's go. Once you grab someone, you're free to do as you like. Interrogate him, knock him out, kill him. Scratch that last one. Go ahead and knock him out. Good. Go on and extract him. Like this. Up you go! Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Strike an adversary repeatedly to knock him out. He'll stay unconscious for longer than if you throw him. Thank you, boss. Extract the staff member. Got it. It's an honor, boss. Boss. Off he goes, and we're doing a fantastic job. Like the, again. the rest will fall into place with some time in the field. Go ahead and call the chopper from your eye. Alright. Please select landing zone. This is B-Quad. Arriving shortly at LZ. And... <laughs> Sorry, I can't help myself. Don't you mean two plus two equals four? I mean... Make sure that I was strong enough. Our training was complete, and we were ready to begin our first mission. Snake, Niki, and I were ready to go out to train ourselves hard as diamond dogs. And we did exactly just that. I was really excited. We had to be brave. Snake told us don't show no emotions on the battlefield. And I said yes. Whatever you do. Stare fear in the eyes of death. Including me. Ready to take on what's before us. Now, I remember, Snake gave me a name, he called me, he says, your name will no longer be called, your name will still be called Gino, but you will live in another code name.
Snake gave Karai a code name. Uh, I mean, Miki gave the name a code name called Karai, since she's from Japan. She stood. She says she doesn't know where she came from. She only met me. She was called Miki, and she her code name was the name Karai. And Snake gave me a name, code, my re a real code name called Oscar. He called me Oscar. That's why he gave me that name. He says your name will no longer be called Peter. I am called Oscar. And he gave me the last name. He calls me Karenio. Uh, the Dark Alliance knew what my real name is. They knew from the beginning from... From Batman Arkham Knight New Game Plus. I had no idea. But I knew what my real name was. My bio, my legal parents calls me Leo. My biological, my biological mother calls me Gino. And sharing with other prin other princesses like Princess Daisy and Princess Peach. This name of the episode was the Bottled Grotto. Wow. like the swampy creatures got you leading Another secret seashell! I'm on fire!
Um, portal! It's dampy. All right. All right, dampy. Well, got will do. Let's see. We go here. So that's why my wonderful girlfriend called me. We were like. Young, I, I, I said, and why did we come here in the first place for training? It's like, and Snake told me that you came here because you flew. I flew? Like, how did I flew over here? And I said, well, I know how to fly. There are things I know how to fly so well. <laughs> Not today! Another Guardian's Acorn! Wow! Getting stupid me. Sweet. We can warp all the way back. It's that simple. Right here. Wow. Ah! Ah! Up we go. Another seashell secret or a secret seashell. I don't know what is up with that tombstone over there. I just I didn't want it to destroy it, so it was worth it. Nope, I was late. Wow! Let's return Bow Wow to back to its original owner. First 
let's go here. <laughs> what? Fifty rupees. Oh, barely made it. Don't think I cannot make that other jump because too far for me to jump across. Way too far for me to jump across. Secret. Whoa. any bombs, but he did let me to carry more bombs instead. Wow! You eat like a... like... it's nothing! Seven... Someone's online! Another secret seashell, and that is eight! Almost there. Better make sure we return this back to Lady Meow Meow. Oh yeah, Draken took care of Bow Wow, and I'm pretty sure Draken will have a nice reward from Madam Meow Meow. Yeah, he's finally home. Uh, yeah, I think Draken is really overjoyed. <laughs> Blushing! <laughs> Finally back home. Oh, 575. <laughs> mm. That's the song of the Ballad of the Windfish. It's just really wonderful. Well, finally! <laughs> Another piece of heart! <laughs> wow, 60 bombs, alright! It seems we are going to stop here for the time being, and don't you worry, we are going to continue to pick up from where we left off, and this is why Snake gave me the name Oscar Correggio in the first place, and now I remember more and more of what is a pa the connection passed between me and Snake, along with my girlfriend Miki, Living on the code name Karai. 
but she is like the first human vocaloid, female vocaloid that's not a cyborg, like not half human, half cyborg type. You know, like Android 17 and 18, like that, you know. So anyways, as a friendly neighborhood spider cop who takes chances making mistakes and getting messy, who loves peanut butter and chocolate and breakfast for dinner, because the when the, because things will not get easy right here along in the ultimate Arkham universe right here in Leo's Let's Plays Alliance. Godspeed, play safe, and shalom. Remember to fight with honor, love, truth, and justice, and see you guys next time for more of Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening in remastered high definition right here. Remember, friendship is magic for everyone.